photo I'm going to show you here is the vise, the bench vise that we put on with the redoing the bench. I wanted to do it with T-Track. Uh, I didn't want to go the bench dog route and drilling holes in that. Um, it didn't have a thick surface there and I didn't want to have to do more than I had to on this bench top to get it ready for that. So instead I just did T-Track, which I do like the flexibility. It works for me when how I use it. But I also wanted to add T-Track to the actual vise itself just to give a little bit of clamping force to hold something down. Um, I know there's different kinds of clamps you can get with the little cams and stuff in there and the, and the press springs that'll push it together. But I wanted to try this to see how this works. So far, I like it. I've um, had a couple different uses on there um, and being able to hold things down to sand it um, to get that flush surface where everything, there's no clamp on the surface of it. So I do like it in that regard. But what it allows me to do is I can take, for example, put it here, get this close to where I want it, get the vise somewhere in the middle. Slide it in, lock this here, tighten those down. And what I've been able to do, sometimes I can get away with not tighten, tightening these because there's really no lateral movement. And all I gotta do is just right here, get a couple of turns on that, and it's pretty secure in place there as well. So I've got a good secure grip as well. Now, sometimes this will start to slide. Another method that I've done, if it's got an odd size or something there too, or if I wanna keep it from twisting, I can also take it, slide this all over here, And I've got somewhat of a natural 90 degree in that space. And so I can get it to where I want it to be, tighten it up. And what's nice about doing it this way, when I go to tighten it, it's got, it's trying to do a little bit of a twist and torsion on there. So it kind of locks it and keeps it really snug and keeps it from moving. So when I was designing this particular type of hold down mechanism or stopping block, I had envisioned where it was narrow at the bottom, had a flat space and taller at the top. And it just so happened I had a template for this T, uh, for the Tennessee T here. I had it uh, for another project, a metal project, and I just used that as a guide. Made a couple of those, and I really, really like it. It holds well. I did modify it a little bit, um, or when I ma made these, they're out of a uh, Baltic birch. Probably see a little bit here too, but there's a metal washer underneath there as well. Typical T-Track T -track hardware. But I like this. It's a super easy to use. I can slide this right off, so I can put items in here if I don't need it. Now, I may come back and actually add T slots or slots inside this so I can move it back. And then at that point, I would really need to be able to tighten that down because the thing I, if I could do it differently again, and it may not work if I did that, is move that T track a little bit so that there's a lip right here to set something on. Right now, it kind of cantilevers off and it's okay. I haven't had an issue where it's been a problem, but after I put it all together, I noticed that. So if this slid back just a few uh, millimeters further, probably even about five millimeters or so, even the thickness of this, then that would give me the play or the, the lip that I would need on there to keep things from potentially dipping down. So, but I do like this. Real simple to use. I've got another block like this. I've got several hold down clamps as well as that. But this T-Track uh, mechanism here in the vise, I love it. I think it works really well. I've got the full length that I can use. So right at five feet that I've got through here that I can put product on. And it really works for what I need it to be able to do. Very much.